Let's do it. We're going to do HTMX. What are we going to make in HTMX? We don't know yet. We're going to make a game plan. Step one, learn. We want to know what is HTMX? What is it used for? What can we build with it? How do we get started? Once we get here, we'll actually like write some code, but first we need to figure out what it is. Yeah. And that's the thing is I've seen, I've seen the Twitter memes about it. You know, I've, I've read about it, but for now we're going to properly sit down. So here's their website, htmx.org, high power tools for HTML. HTMX gives you access to Ajax, CSS transitions, WebSockets, and server sent events directly in HTML using attributes so you can build modern user interfaces with the simplicity and power of hypertext. And so this, this already was my basic understanding of what HTMX can do, where essentially the code can replace elements of the page based on the response of a server. So for example, we pull in the library. So this, this is the one thing I, I didn't realize is, is it actually is just a client side library. The backend that you create is literally just returning HTML. Whenever this button is clicked, it's going to make a post request to the backend at this route slash clicked in whatever the response responses will be replaced right here on this button. That's it. I can build a Node.js app that returns HTML from a post request to a URL. I can do that. That's easy. We know the entire framework now. Cool. Okay, so here, here is what I'm tempted to do. Based on their homepage, I just want to make this work without even reading the docs. Let's do that because that will be fun and we'll, we'll see if it really is as easy as they say. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an Express API. So my Create Express API creates a pure JSON API, but we'll need to augment it potentially with server-side rendering. Initially, we don't even need that. We could literally just send back HTML. Here we go. We have an Express app. It's serving up JSON data, but what we want to do is serve up an HTML file instead. I'm going to just use what I know along with what I just learned on the homepage to make it work. So we have a public directory. Inside of that, we have an index.html. We'll just create a basic HTML file, and then let's get this page served up. Right here, we need to add the static file handler. And then I specify the public folder. And then I'm going to get rid of my root handler because this root handler was serving back JSON. But now when a request comes in, it'll first look in the public folder to see if it can serve it up. Let's see if I did that right. I did that right. I at least know what I'm doing. That's a great idea, Oscar. We're going to add Pico. Think of it like bootstrap, but we don't have to add classes on anything. Now instantly, it looks nice. <laughs> it has a better font and background and everything. OK, we have a web page. Now we want to do a thing. What this example is telling us to do is to load HTMX from a CDN. And then uh, now we're going to have a button that says click me. What should happen is it makes a post request to my backend. Now I click this 404 not found. So I need a backend route slash clicked that will return some HTML. Uh, I'm just going to do it in the root right here. When someone makes a request to slash uh, clicked, I am going to send some HTML. I'm just going to send back an H2 that says good job. And that should do it. So if I click this, it says good job. It's that easy. I mean, at this point, we we know how to create backend routes. We could do whatever we want at this point, right? We could we could have put this route anywhere. We could have put it in like slash API or whatever. And then as long as it's returning HTML, you're good to go. It's amazing. That was that was easy. <laughs> that was HTMX. No, I want we need to figure out we, we need to build something proper with it. So we'll 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 go to their docs, we'll learn a little bit more, we'll see what else it's capable of, and then figure out if we actually wanna what else we want to build. What is HTMX? It's a front end library. I've literally never heard anyone mention that. And that fits better in my brain in terms of knowing what HTMX is. What is it used for? Making HTML pages interactive without extra JavaScript. Everything is done through HTML attributes. Uh, what can we build with it? Anything front end? Must have a custom backend that responds with HTML. Uh, why should we use it? We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't read about well, what, what makes this better than anything else that we're doing. I would think anyone that isn't as comfortable with front end JavaScript, right? So like because your back end can literally be anything, devs that are already used to building back ends with Rust or Go or whatever else might be interested in this because they don't have to learn a front end framework. We literally only looked at the homepage. <laughs> this is literally all we've done so far. We have a lot. We have a lot more to. We have a lot more to learn. How do we get started? Add HTMX to an HTML page. This is this is what was new to me. I didn't actually realize that it literally is just running on the web page. It has nothing to do with your backend. Basically, they have things that you can use, and as long as your backend responds in the right ways, will just work with HTMX. That's that's pretty cool. 
feel like doing it all with vanilla JS and HTML and CSS is far more complicated to learn than just using a framework, no? I would say a lot of people that like HTMX, maybe they don't want to get involved with the complexities of like uh, front-end frameworks and front-end development. And this makes it so that all the front-end code you write are just attributes. And all of the logic can stay on the back end like you're used to. It's, it's amazing the effort we put into to not use JavaScript. Yeah. Kind of like jQuery, for, but for HTML. I think that's a good analogy. Yeah. It, it basically adds all these new features to HTML. Yeah.